We are at Malting Beer and Whiskey Bar. So we just, Jason decided he's gonna get a whiskey. So here are whiskeys here. And then there are the premium whiskeys. And then on this side, we've got the super premium whiskey. honey lemonade because I figure out to try to be authentic and we're at a whiskey bar so you gotta try something with whiskey in it. And Jason's getting, hold on, let me find it, the Johnny Walker Black Label Whiskey. So that's what we're getting here at Malting. Alright, so we've got a honey lemonade and a Johnny Walker Black Label. So how is that, Jace? Got a licorice back in. Licorice? Yeah, interesting. Best way I can describe it. But good. Good? Alright. So I figured I'm going to be brave and get something with whiskey in it since we're at a whiskey bar. So this has Jack Daniels honey whiskey in it plus lemonade plus sparkling water. Ooh, sounds good. Da, na, 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 na. <laughs> okay, I didn't think I was gonna actually like it. And your final answer? It's actually good. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but you taste the lemonade when you first sip it, and then you taste the honey afterwards. It's Sounds actually a good drink. And it, and it's, it looks it's, like a lemonade. It does look like, yeah, it, it, it kind of is, but it's got whiskey in it, so you know. <laughs> it's a lemonade on steroids. Cheers! Leave that and the bars even give you mixed nut snacks, which are actually pretty darn tasty. We haven't been on Lido deck since early this morning, so we figured we need to pop up here and see what's happening. And it's happening. There's people everywhere. Look. up here since early this morning oh, it yeah we sat right over here a whole different experience up here yeah earlier. we watched the sunrise and nobody was up here so it's just us or it was just us now it's everybody we're just chilling just walking trying to decide what we're gonna do next so this is called the juice bar because you can get Freshly squeezed juices. But, but I'm gonna be a wild child and I'm getting a Diet Pepsi. Jason still has a drink, so this will be, we are gonna officially check this off the list with me getting a Diet Pepsi. This is a juice bar, so we can do that. So we're sitting outside the Garden Cafe waiting for it to open. It's right there. It's right there. So the buffet, we've never actually been like so excited to go to a buffet before. No. But not. it's Asian night. Tonight, Asian night, right there. Yeah. Garden Cafe. So we're excited about Asian night. So we're gonna just sit here and chill until the buffet opens. And I'm gonna drink my Diet Pepsi. But hey, it's a, it's a soda. And you're still sipping on your- uh, Just a sipper? I got a- Your whiskey. Black Label, uh, Johnny Walker Black Label. I like uh, I like Jameson better. I will switch back. But this will work. Trying something new. Trying something new. That's the cool thing about having the 
ultimate drink package. Because if you don't like something, you don't have to drink it. So the drink I got, it was good at first, but a little too much of it. I was like, eee. And I only drank about half of it. I'm like, eh. I don't feel bad leaving it because it's okay. <laughs> what she said. Yeah. So we're eating early because Rock of Ages starts at 6.30. And we want to be at the theater by 5.45 to get a good seat. Even though it's we have a reservation, it doesn't mean you're going to get a good seat unless you get there early. That's right. What'd she say? <laughs> so we were at Burn the Floor about 45 minutes early and we got a really good seat. So that's what we're shooting for tonight. What'd she say? <laughs> so we went, Jason did actually get an alcoholic beverage from... <laughs> from that bar. So what did you get? I got a Michelob of Ultra. Yeah, so I got a Diet Pepsi, and but he got a Michelob like, Ultra, oh, so it counts. Some of these bars don't have Michelob Ultra. They, some of them have it, some of them don't. But the first bartender says, we do not have it, you have to get it over here. And then the other guy said, no, it's down there. And he goes down under the counter and he pops up with this. Yay! He's like, score <laughs> for the home team. He didn't even realize they had it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we are heading in the Garden Cafe for Asian night. Look at the decor. The Chinese lanterns. Look at this. Dragon. Oh my gosh. Asian night, baby. Wow. He's foaming at the mouth. Look. Check out this ice sculpture. That is pretty incredible. And look, it's surrounded by chopsticks and soy sauce. I love it. It's Chinese. That's funny. This is a real good angle of this. Look how cool this is. It's dripping though. Gee, I'm not gonna get it tonight, but right. kimchi is amazing. So the buffet starts with kimchi. I love to take kimchi back at home and put it in ramen noodle soup. Ew. With boiled eggs and chopped pickles and onions. Ew, gritty. Oh, it's good. Oh, look at, look at, look at, look at the, pen, the penguin made out of an eggplant. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Cherry or grapes and carrots and carrots. wow, that's cool. That's really neat. All right, so kimchi, seafood salad. Oh, this looks good. Marinated Thai beef. Try a little bit of that. Roasted duck and glass noodle salad. Ooh, Interesting. Wow. Why not? Why not? Try a little bit of that. Shrimp and bro Szechuan shrimp and broccoli. Szechuan eggplant. Grilled tilapia with Thai vegetables. Ooh, spicy Szechuan stir fried vegetables. Get a little bit of that. Okay, we got, ooh, vegetable lo mein. Love me some lo mein. Ugh, fried rice. Oh yeah, gotta have some fried rice. Sweet and sour pork. Why not? Mashed potatoes. That makes no sense. Okay. Spring rolls. Uh, I don't have any room for that, but yeah, there's some sweet chili sauce to go with. Okay, Jason made me a little spot for it, but I have me a pretty full plate already. Okay, so over here, look at these carvings. That's crazy, and look, it says Asian Buffet. Every night there's a new one. I love the decor in here. Look at all the Chinese lanterns hanging all the way down. Looks like we're going against the grain. Oh, Peking duck. Oh, we need to get down. Yeah, we need to go get in this this direction. Ooh, I'm like an Asian night. No joke. So this, this looks good. Duck. I got some kind of sauce, sweet sauce with it. Plum sauce. Plum sauce. This is uh, the dark meat. The leg corner. We've never had Peking duck before. We're gonna try it. We're gonna split it together. I like skin, so we're gonna. Mm. That's good. Is it good? Mm. Yeah, ducks. I like duck. Cool. I do not like lamb. <laughs> no, you don't like lamb. Try it. Okay. So yeah, I got just a little bit of everything on this plate. 
So this is gonna be good to try. Mm -hmm. Got me some chopsticks. Of course, can't do Asian. No Asian night is complete without chopsticks. Mm. Oh, the duck is good. Kind of tastes like chicken, huh? Yeah, it does. And yeah, I have some pork, some beef, kung pao chicken, some lao mein, some fried rice. Yeah. I mean, just a little bit of everything. I'm running. I'm running the gamut too. I got a yeah. little bit of everything. Can't go wrong with this meal. It's gonna be good. We like. We both like Asian food. Yeah. Got a DJ by the pool tonight. Only two people in the pool, but the hot tubs are popping. Hang on. Yeah, one thing at a time. Yeah, so, okay, at Waves Bar, Margarita. Way too loud to talk out there. <laughs> so, we are heading to our cabin to pick up one extra battery for our camera, and then we're heading to Rock of Ages. Rock so of Ages! So excited about this show! What's the next word? Man and no red. I have no Rock idea. Rock of Ages! <laughs> Continuing on. We're in a rock mood. We're in a rock mood. We'll tell you what we thought about Rock of Ages when we can actually talk. But uh, this is the stage. Some dude just came out. He looks like a rocker. So, like sister. Yeah, so we're about to hear some really cool rock so music. This can't suck. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty awesome.
about that, Jason? That was the dumb shit I've ever seen. Pardon my language. That was some dumbest, goofiest. We had to leave. Crap, I've ever seen in my life. On a cruise ship, in my life. <laughs> I thought there was a rock band coming out. <laughs> it's this, it's this, it's this four. Looking guys, and they all sing fine. They sing good, but. I don't, I don't want to hear you sing. I want to see you play rock and roll. What I want to see is I want to see you guys entertaining everybody out here. Because this is what we're basing a lot of it on, is the reaction of this audience. And if I can quote a song, everybody have fun tonight, everybody wing chung tonight. Thank you. Yeah! With sunglasses. It's a little octopus. Okay, so we didn't get to say what we thought about Rock of Ages because it was a little too loud after the fact. But that show was pretty fantastic. What'd you think? I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I thought it was, a for me, it was a little bit long, but that could be because they were like running 30 minutes behind schedule. I think schedule. that's what it was. It was a little bit long. You cannot get... Uh, any alcoholic beverages during the show okay so they don't have people going around offering drinks like you're used to uh, for the shows yeah. so if you want to drink make sure that you stock up before you go to the show <laughs> yeah prior to the show they had people walking around but as soon as it got showtime and our showtime was delayed 30 minutes because they were having some technical and when it got delayed 30 minutes I was like okay I it's I waited and I waited so finally I got up I had to use I wanted to use the restroom so I didn't have to use the restroom in the middle of the show so I went up to the top and uh, went to the bar they got a bar up at the top mm -hmm. and I asked for a drink and that's when I learned that she said nope no serving alcohol during the show so I went to Oceans and uh, <laughs> I got me a drink used the restroom and came back and uh, at right about right about show time yeah right about show time so just FYI, yeah, it was a great show though. Yeah, the show itself a little bit long, but very, very good. It was really great, and we had seen the movie, so we were expecting the movie to be authentic to the play, and it's it's similar. Or the play but to it's be different. authentic to the movie, yeah, yeah, it's similar, but it's different. You get the jest, and it, but it's it's fun. It's, they really, they kind of goofed on it, and I'm going to tell you what, it's a little risque. It's it's not a little, it's very, very risque. It's, Do not bring your kids to vulgar, that little, show. A little vulgar, a little dirty, <laughs> There was some, little naughty. There were some people that got up and left. There was some, some old folks, <laughs> especially. I'm not calling them out, but they're old. And they got up and they left. Several. Uh, which we thought was hilarious. Yeah, we did. But but anyway, nonetheless, you know, it was fun. And uh, we it, liked it. I laughed so hard, I literally cried. Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah. It was so funny. And I... It, some it, some some uh, some vulgarities, <laughs> curse words, a little sexuality, some strippers. You know, yeah. I mean, it, it covers the gamut. It was fun. <laughs> I wish I could have recorded a lot of that show. It was really fantastic. Yeah. Um, it was it was the thing I was most looking forward to seeing on this cruise, or most looking to doing on this cruise, because um, we knew that it was going to be on here, and mm. we just knew that we would really enjoy it. So, yeah. and we did. It was fantastic. So, 
great cool. show. If you can catch it, catch it. Definitely see it. You'll you trip s- out, man. It's a mess. Up. It, it'll mess your mind up. It's really cool. Yeah. If you've been on the breakaway and you've seen it, let us know what you thought of it. it- Not like any carnival show I've ever <laughs> seen. It's it's on another level. No, but what it was so funny is they kept warning people at the beginning. At first, we, me and Alicia, are looking at each other like cringing, like. Oh, God. Did they just say what I thought they said? Yeah, saying? they did. Yep. They and did. Then, and, then, and then as time went on, we just kind of got desensitized to it. We're like, yeah, oh, this well, is great. That's, I mean, people but really at first, talk like that in real life. But we never expected it. Uh-uh. Never seen anything like that on a cruise ship before. No. I mean, it's real. I mean, it's funny. It's real life stuff, you yeah. know. And they... But it, it, it'll, leave you, it'll leave you a little bit cringing from time to time. <laughs> yeah, at the, at, before the show started, they they said, anyone under the age of 15, get your parents and go to the back of the room. They did. And um, I can imagine, because if I was a mom and I had an 8-year-old in the room, I would have grabbed them and gotten the heck out of that theater five seconds into the show. Oh, you should have seen them old people getting up moving out. Oh, it was Look, so they, funny. And, I, and I'm not just pointing out the old people. There there was some other people, but there was several couples that got up and moved out during certain parts of the show, which I thought was funny. It was funny, because it, it was kind of, it was very naughty parts. <laughs> He got up and left during. It's real life. It's nothing that we ain't all thought about before, you know? And then they just brought it to Broadway. Yep. That's all. It was funny. So, yeah, we definitely recommend it. Check it out. It. it was fun. It was great. And then after Rock oh. of Ages, <laughs> we went to Sid Norman's Poor House because it said tenors of rock. It was a poor or house. Or rock tenors. So we were expecting rock music. And well, we, so, got, we, got, we got all jacked up, hyped up from Rock of Ages. Yeah. So we are like, let's go. Yeah, let's go to this, some this rock was music. Me. This was me. I, I said, let's go to a rock show. Let's let's stay on the high. Let's uh, you know ride the wave. It, it's going to be fun. So we went there. We got there 30 minutes or more Posted than that Posted up in a great spot. Front and center. Yeah. Front of stage, got our drinks, sat down, waited, filled up, and these four guys walk out. And it was like boy band meets rock and roll. (laughs) It was terrible. The look on Jason's face was priceless. He was just like... Not one of them played an instrument. No. They just sang... There was the band track. set up, and it was a distraction because all the stage was set. Yeah. There was drums, there was bass, there was guitars, there was <laughs> lights, there was camera action. And these four guys, one of them had a little bun on top of his head, and then and and the other one looked like Lassie. He called himself Shaggy. Okay, close enough. <laughs> and. They started singing, and they were... Uh, they started with... Um, kind of acapella. Guns and they're, they're basically an acapella band. But with a track behind but, them. But with yeah. a backing track. And it was just... Uh, and they were... But the way they delivered it, and the way the presentation was... It was so was, cheesy. And I'm not a hater. I'm not a mean so guy. Cheesy. But I'm a music guy. Yeah. And don't get up on there, and on that stage, and sing rock and roll. And not play an instrument. Jason whispered in my ear, where are their instruments? <laughs> so we left. But anyway, um, and also we're at the end of a bar crawl, so <laughs> it's like, whew, you know, we've had a, kicked a few back. You just, know what I mean? just a few. But yeah. we're, we're good. We're good. I mean, yeah. we're, we're totally fine. But we're on we've vacation. We've been pacing them all day. We don't have our kids. We're on vacation. And we're just doing what mom and dad need to do. Mm-hmm. But, uh. Just giving it to you real, folks. Letting you know how we feel about things and passing it along to you. And you can pick and choose what you want, but... We tell you the good and the bad. We had a really, really good to, experience and then we had a really bad experience. You have to trust old Jason when he tells you, because I'm going to tell you the real stuff. Yeah, and when it comes to music, he knows what he's talking yeah, about. pretty much. So, anyway, we uh, we ordered some... We're back at the room now, obviously... We're sitting on a little uh, couch, little couch we have in we our have in here. little spa cabin, and uh, we ordered room service. I ordered some ro- a roasted chicken, 
and she got a uh, turkey turkey, sub. Sand, turkey sub sandwich uh, with mayo, not mustard. Because <laughs> we didn't want to, we didn't want to deal with the whole restaurant. And again. Uh, we asked o'clock. for two waters, and they said, "Hey, would you like a pitcher of water?" Yeah. And we said, "Heck yeah!" Because you know it's always good to just drink water. Yep. On a cruise ship, stay hydrated, whatnot. We got uh, Harvest Key in the morning. Um, mm-hmm. The plan is, and we'll see how it pans out, yeah. but as of right now, and you'll see how it pans out in the videos, <laughs> yeah. but we're either going to do one of two things. We're either going to wake up at our leisure in the morning and let everybody get off the ship at Harvest Key, mm-hmm. and we're going to do a ship tour. Yeah, because we haven't done that yet. Yeah. Uh, we will. And then get off. Yeah. Or we're going to wake up, get off. Do our thing in port. Do it. Come back in early, shower, clean up while it's still early, and, and then, then do, do a the ship, ship tour, tour while people are still out. Yeah. We haven't decided yet, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yep. So, good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And here is the room service menu. And the mini bar, because there is an actual mini bar in here. So here's the cost of everything in the mini bar. That little bottle of wine's nine dollars, Jason. By the way. Why are you drinking that? Yeah. <laughs> here's the room service menu. So there's continental breakfast here, and there's no no convenience charge on this one. Or there's the breakfast specials and then here's the all-day menu and anything you can get as much as you want and there is one seven dollar ninety five cent convenience charge delivery fee but I found this is the only way to get a sandwich I haven't seen any other sandwiches so I got a sandwich Jason got roasted chicken and you can even get dessert oh and then there's fancy stuff so the room service has arrived but Jason has fallen asleep so I'm gonna see if I can wake him up he got roasted chicken and I got a turkey sandwich and they brought me french fries and a whole pitcher of water which is really really nice now I gotta see if I can wake him up <laughs>、hey, from back here, you can see how big Land Shark is. It's really big, and then it's got outdoor seating over here. Beach time. <laughs>